Where? At Bernier's. Let's go back and I'll show you. No, I believe you, dear. Yes, I understand. Oh, look at that chinchilla. Where? But perhaps you will stop for breakfast. Yes, of course, dear, but not in the heart of Paris. Oh, it's too expensive in the heart of Paris. Oh, no, dear, but it's too late for breakfast round here. Why, it's almost lunchtime. Besides, it's not romantic here. begin with radishes. They are charming this morning. Yes, I'll have some radishes. And after the radishes, madame, we have a boiled ham that is beyond the power of comparison. Oh, what a pig it must have been. <laughs> and that's the suggestion. And after the pig, madame, after the boiled ham, madame, we have grapes. Grapes just arrived from Fontainebleau. Each grape, a kiss, madame. A kiss. Oh, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> yes, great, by all means. Well, they should be good. They cost enough. And she is my oh, daughter. All yours, darling. Oh, and now it is Easter vacation. She will learn to sing and to dance and to play the piano. Hmm? Oh, yes, my daughter will learn to do everything. She will become a brilliant lady. Uh, she will make a brilliant marriage. A brilliant marriage? Oh, will I? Just wait and see. Um, Waiter. Oh, yes, madame. What do you suggest to eat? Why, uh, and never mind, bring me some radishes, ham, and grapes. Yes, yes, madam. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, madam. <laughs> oh, pardon me, sir, what will you have? What are you talking about? I've given you my order, radishes, ham, and grapes. What's the matter with this waiter? What's the matter with you? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, hurry the order. Yes, sir. What a fool. Just a fool. Hey, hey, don't sweep. Don't sweep now. What's the matter? Society. Oh! Albert! I'm sorry, but there's a great lady waiting for breakfast. I'm in a great hurry. A great lady, huh? How dare you push my books off? Well, I didn't know they were yours. Well, that's no excuse. Pick them up at once. Ah. Of all the waiters we've ever had in this cafe, you're the clumsiest, the more stupid, the most... You're just a fool. I'm sorry. And what are you doing with that fancy coat on? Where's your working coat? The other one has to be clean. Why, it was just clean. Well, it still has a spot on it. Oh, I don't believe you. Albert, you think that fancy coat makes you look like a gentleman. Well, it doesn't. You're a waiter, and no matter what you wear, you'll always look like a waiter. Well, I won't wear the other coat. You're discharged. Again? Well, when do we eat? Waiter! Waiter! Come back here, because you haven't a chance. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. 
What's the use? A man to go to watch himself into another. Why he the roof and fret about something he should forget about? What's the use to raise the news whenever clouds begin to gather? King as well as clown, all have their ups and downs. It's a great life if you don't weaken, you're a great guy. If you won't weaken, if you don't lose heart, the hardest part is the first hundred years. It's a great life if you stick to it. It's a great life with a king to win. If you come up strong, it won't be long till the sunshine appears. If you let him beat you, Mr. Gloom will knock you cold. Get him, never let him, use the well-known stranglehold. Oh, it's a great life, if you don't weaken, you're a great guy. If you won't weaken, if you do all well, what the heck, it's still a great life. <laughs> it's a great life, if you don't weaken, you're a great guy. If you won't weaken, if you don't lose half, the hardest part is the first hundred years. It's a great life if you stick to it. Yes, a great life with a kick to it. If you come up strong, it won't be long till the sunshine appears. If you let him beat you, oh, Mr. Bloom will knock you cold. And get him, never let him use the well-known stranglehold. Oh, it's a great life. If you want weaken, you're a great guy. If you want weaken, if you do all well, what the heck? It's still a great life. Please. Oh, but fine today, would I speak with you? Yes, madam. I want to find out something about your, uh, your waiter, Albert. Yes, madam. My reason is, we've been engaged for three months. But he refuses to marry me until he makes more money. Now, if you don't intend to raise his salary, I shall have to get him another job somewhere. I'm sure I don't intend to wait forever either. Oh, but my dear lady, Albert is very well paid. Oh, but Papa, you mean very much overpaid. Sure. But all he gets is 300 francs. But he gets 500 francs. 500? 500. 500? 500. 500. Oh, the dirty liar. And to think of me falling for it. Ha! What a sap I am. I ought to know by now that every man's a liar. But wait. Wait till I get a hold of him. Ha! Just wait. Well, goodbye. Oh, are you a musician? Yeah. What of it? My daughter wants to learn to sing and play. Are you a teacher? I'm the best teacher in Paris. Oh, what a liar. We have a piano upstairs. Oh, a very good one. And now you'll try out her voice. Yes, and I'll see you just as soon as I return from the barbershop. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Paul. Paul, I'm in trouble again. In love again? No, no, no. They told me there was a beautiful lady here for breakfast, Albert. Beautiful? Oh, but they told you nothing. She was magnificent. Ah, oh, if I were rich. Oh, sure, 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 sure. Did, uh, did she like you? No, she didn't even look at me. She doesn't seem to like weather. But she was great. She reminded me of those ladies I saw in the garden my father used to keep for Count Cassian when I was a child. That marvelous garden with the fountain and the great pool in the middle and the ladies, those lovely ladies, walking around in their silk gowns, with their tiny parasols, and nothing else to do all day, just walk, walk around. Oh, don't stop. Oh, but Paul, I'm going a long way. I smell it in the air. And that's why they don't like me, I'm not one of them. They may take lessons, and lessons, and lessons, and lessons. They always be common people. And I am the son of a gardener. Mila. Are you really going to marry that waiter? Why not? Try this. La. Wanting to marry a waiter. Try this. And that waiter of all the 
about something very important. You're right. I do. I want you to find someone for me at once. Find somebody? Yes. A waiter. His name is Albert Loriflant. And where shall I find him? Don't ask me. I'm asking you. And you mean to say that he's just a waiter? Well, as waiters come and go, he's some waiter. He's just been left a million francs. A million francs, sir? Oh, I beg your pardon, sir. But uh, was the name Albert Loriflant? I telephone the waiters' union and see if they know of such a waiter. Yes, sir. Yes. And make it snappy. I can't get out of Paris quicker. Yes, sir. Leave it to me, sir. Right away, sir. Leave it to me, sir. Uh, you have the papers with you? Oh, yes. Here they are. Thank you. Oh, Count Caspion. Mm hmm The Count and I were great pals. We took trips around the world together. I see. Now, this waiter, Albert, was the son of the Count's gardener. Uh -huh. At least, he was supposed to be. Yes, yes. And, for all I know, he was. Well, of course he was. Oh, of course, of, of course. course. Mr. Philibert! Mr. Philibert! Mr. Philibert! Oh, 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 what the devil, who is it? I have great news. I've got to see you at once. Now you will try to stop me from marrying Ivan. Now I am rich, and I can make you rich. We can both make a fortune in the time of two hours. Have you gone crazy? Have I? <laughs> I'll show you how crazy I am. Listen to this. The idea is to... Uh... Come on. We've got to be alone. But I'm all soap. Never mind the soap. We have no time to lose. The idea is this. This morning at the lawyer's office. Now that Here's what has happened. Your waiter Albert has just inherited one million francs. A million francs? Yes. Oh, what luck. And lucky for us, too. We're going to get 400,000 francs out of that million. I'll say that'll help some. But I don't understand. If Albert really has a million francs, how is that going to help me? Because Albert will never continue to be a waiter if he has a million francs. No, he'll just quit. Of course. But before he quits, we'll get him to sign a long contract that will have a great raise in salary. A great raise in salary? Yes. Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry. You won't even have to pay him a cent. But he will have to pay you 400,000 francs when he quits. But if Albert is so rich, why should he sign such a contract? Because he's going to sign the contract before he knows he's rich. But won't Albert be suspicious when I offer him this tremendous raise in salary? Ha uh ha! -huh. I thought of that too. So while I'm drawing up the contract, you get him drunk. Right. Now! All right, let's go. Here he is. Have you forgotten your position altogether? Come on, fill the glasses. Come on. All right, all right. I'll fill the glasses, all right. All right, all right. Well, I wish you remember this. Charlie, you're going to have to Look here, you fool. Look what you've done. I'm sorry. Look at my bed. Oh, I hate you. Oh. I'm sorry. Get out of here. Get out of here. You hear? I will. Don't fire. I quit. Oh, no. I just in Joshua, and I wanted to leave here at once. Don't worry, don't worry. No, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. He must not go. But I don't understand you. He threw a bit of water at me. Oh, but water, my child. What's a little water? I'm all wet. Just one of Albert's little jokes. He's so playful. But you don't understand. You go to your room, my child, and change your dress. Go to your room. <laughs> what did you do, Albert? Throw a pitcher of water at her? How funny. No, no, I don't want to step. Oh, but you must, Albert. You must. I'm sick of being treated like a fool. No, 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 no. We like you. She hates me. Oh. Never mind her. You put on your fancy coat, yes? Hmm? 
I'm going to show you how much I like you. You are going to do a job for me that no waiter ever did for me before. Here, here's the key to the wine cellar. Go down there and test the wine. I I want every barrel tested. I will not have any bad wine in my cellar. You understand? Hmm? There'll be a lot of testing you. All right, Albert. You help yourself. Hmm? All right. I will. For your sake. In the wine cellar. By the time we are ready for him, he is sure to be drunk. It will be easy to fool him. Good. How long did you make the contract for? Fifteen years? No. Twenty years? Oh, I listened to how well I did it. Yes, yes, yes. A mutual understanding that if either one of the parties breaks this contract, that one must pay to the other one a sum of 400,000 francs. Oh. And when we split the 400,000, I can marry Ivan. Oh, oh, dear, dear, dear. I hope he tastes a lot of barrels. We love fun, the girl in my mind. The girl we love, I feel. Maybe she's a two-wheel, and yet she might be. Ah, uh, uh, now, Miss Burgundy, you're the last of the whole family that's left to taste. All your sisters are fine and healthy. Don't disappoint me. Hmm? And remember this. If wine doesn't flow through your veins like it ought to, you go right out in the ash can. Oh. Oh, me, Burgundy. Oh, you are the flower of your family. You are. You are ideal. Will I ever find the girl in my mind? Oh, the girl who is my ideal. Maybe she has a dream, and yet she might. How is the boss? Albert the boss, that's me. Oh, Albert. The boss. Never address me different. Say. <laughs> Go and wash the dishes. Philippert sent me to get you. Philippert? Yes, Philippert. Ah, oh, Philippert. Let's go. No, no, he mustn't see you like this. But he's my friend. No, he'll be wild. He likes me. He'll fire you. He loves me. No, wait a minute. Philippert. All the barrels are all right. Oh, good, my friend. Hey, you see, eh? he's my friend. We are fine forever. Forever and a day. They're both drunk. Oi, 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 you. And now, Albert, I'm really going to show you how much I like you. Yes, you are getting 6,000 francs a year. Yes. Bless you. Ah, but now it's going to be different. Ooh. Oh, yes. It is too much. No, 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 no. It is not enough. I am going to raise you to 10,000 francs a year. Oh, no. Yes, it's all right, Albert. I am glad to do it. Oh, no. I want, I want 20,000 a year. But Albert. But Albert. And if you are with me, I'll make it, I'll make it 50. <laughs> you know, I accept. 
20,000. See, I changed it. I changed it. I wish I was drunk. And now, there's nothing left to do but sign. Here is the contract. Sign here. Where? There. There? No. There, there, there. There, there, there. Albert, aren't you going to read it first? No, you. You, you read it. <laughs> I can think better when I listen. <laughs> well, you, 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 you'd better sit down. Uh, I'll do the thinking. <laughs> he thinks I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. Oh, no. I'm just gay. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> oh, he was. It's a fine contract, Albert. You get 20,000 francs for 20 years. But there's one thing I don't understand. Don't be silly. It's all right. What is, what is it you don't understand, Paul? Well, here, this, this forfeit clause. It says, if you were discharged, Mr. Philibert must, must pay you 400,000 francs. Yes? But, but if you, if you break the contract, you must pay Mr. Philibert 400,000 francs. <laughs> oh, but for, for it, it's all in my favor. Why, why should I want to, to leave Philippe? And how, how could I pay him if I did? Oh, for, for, don't be silly. Ooh. I'm sure Philbert wants me to have all the best of it. Don't you, sweetheart? That's the whole idea of it. <laughs> that, that's the whole idea of it. <laughs> and now, let's find right here. There. No. There. Well, there's something about it that seems funny to me. Ah, Albert! Just who I'm looking for! You want us right away over at my office! Oh, no, 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 I don't want trouble today. No, 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 it must be Edwiga. She wants to sue me. No, 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 it's great news! Good news? It's wonderful news! All right. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll breeze over. <laughs> oh, 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 I feel, I feel like like flying! <laughs> I have come to tell you some wonderful news. Then you did discharge Albert. Oh, no, no. That's unimportant. Shadow has asked to marry you. And I have told him that I will be proud to have him for my son-in-law. But I thought you wanted me to marry a rich man. That's just it. Shadow is rich. He has just made 400,000 francs. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm a millionaire. Where is my money? Here are the papers. But my money, my money, where is it? I want to touch it. I want to look at it. The letter on the bank. Thank you. Oh, oh, what a day. What a day. Where is my hat? I've lost my hat. Never mind. I'll buy a hundred hats. I'll buy you a hat. Oh, oh, I'm a millionaire. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, I beg your pardon. I beg your pardon. My beautiful lady. Oh, you, you don't recognize me, but I recognize you. I'll buy you a hat. I'm a millionaire, madame. I'm a millionaire. Oh, wait a minute. I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. I'm a millionaire. Yes, I'm a millionaire. Good morning, everybody. Who wants a hat? I'll buy everybody a hat. I'm rich. I'm a millionaire. Here is the, the wheel on the back. Here is the letter for the cash. <laughs> Have you ever seen a millionaire? How it's made? Look at this. Hey, here I'm a millionaire. Oh, fever. Oh, 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 Paul, Paul. Kiss me. Kiss me. I'm a millionaire. We are millionaires. Even, even kiss me. Now, spare you. But you don't understand. I'm rich. Keep away from but I'm not a waiter here. I'm a millionaire. Oh, <laughs> you don't believe it, eh? Well, it's true. <laughs> Uh, uh, you used to laugh about Cam Castion, eh? You never believed I saw him. Well, you believe it now. He's left me a million francs. And you're what 
than ever. <laughs> and you're about to discharge me, eh? Poor girl. She has failed me for the last time. Now I'm going. No, 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 <laughs> Albert. The contract. If you go now, you will have to pay Mr. Philbert 400,000 francs. Oh, but Mr. Philbert wouldn't hold me to that. Would you, Mr. Philbert? But Albert, a contract is a contract. Oh, I see. You're a crook, eh? You're a crook. How dare you call my father a crook? Yes, and a cheap crook, too. Oh, but don't worry, I won't cry about it. I will pay. Hey, people, what, are you crazy? Ha, 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 anything to get out of here. Goodbye and good riddance. Goodbye, and give my regards to Caro. And when you get married, let me know, and I'll send you a ride through. You can't laugh at Mr. Caro anymore. He didn't make a million francs today, but he made 400,000, and he really made it. The biggest fool in the world can inherit money, but it takes brains to make it. Caro made 400,000 francs today? Yes, he did. Didn't he, Papa? Oh, I see. It was his idea. What are you talking about now? Why don't you go? And now, now that he's got 400,000, you will marry him. Why not? Even you mustn't marry him. Oh, mustn't I? You'll be unhappy. Let me alone. He's no good. Get out of here. I hope you have a happy time spending your money. I'm, I'm not going. What? No, sir, not a chance. I won't be beaten by you, Cruz. I'll keep my million francs, and I'll make you pay me 20,000 more every year for 20 years. <laughs> I'll be here every day. I'll be the millionaire waiter. Good evening, madam. Good evening. I ordered the table. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, right here. No, no, I want one of these tables. No, no, my dear, not there. It's too noisy. It's too noisy. Oh, don't worry. No one will see you here. You don't know. Everybody will see me here. Well, you're not everybody to me. Sit down. Now, you'll do exactly what I say, or it's good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm entering a new world. This morning a waiter, and tonight a millionaire. Oh, 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 God. Well, we'll go out every night, eh? We'll see everything. We'll go everywhere. Well, I hope I don't fall and hurt this suit. We'll have to pay extra if anything happens to him. Whoa. Thank you, dear. Wait a minute for the coat, please. Put this in it. Albert, what's that? This is an alarm clock. This will drrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
the third time today that I'm running to her. Take him away. No, go away. No, no, away. no, and the second time I really run into her. Don't you remember when, when we bumped together in the lawyer's office? We did what together? We bumped like this. Boom. <laughs> you see, she knows me. Uh, Let's see, you, you had just been left a million friends. Yes. Of course. Yes, sir. Well, this is delightful. Oh, madam. Sir, sir, the pastry is not in this city. By all means. Uh, yes, sir. And champagne, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, what's no, the matter? Hurry up, we are hungry. What's the matter with this waiter? Oh, oh the waiter is the same. They're just a lot of fools. <laughs> but what a fool I am not to recognize you. Yes, of course. <laughs> so stupid of me. And you think we saw each other once before today? <laughs> you, you, you didn't see me. I saw you. I saw you and I smiled you from, uh, from a great distance. How charming. <laughs> and you say you came into this fortune only today? Yes, why? Right. This morning I woke up just a, just a man of moderate means. And now? Well, oh, how marvelous. <laughs> what are your plans? We'll travel, of course. Of course, of course. No, I won't. I won't either. At least for 20 years. 20 years? Hmm? Why? Because uh, I want to see Paris first. <laughs> you don't want to miss anything, oh, do you? No, I want. I want everything. And when do you begin this quest for everything? Just as soon as I can find a guide. What kind of a guide, my friend? Whom, whom would you suggest? If I were you? If you were me. Oh, someone like me, if I were you. Then, then if I were you, I would be a guide. Just a minute, Paul. Oh, how did we get here so soon? So th this is uh, where you live? Huh? Yes, but I hardly recognize it. Everything looks so different. Daylight. Yes, dear. Our first night has come and gone. It was the first night, wasn't it? So pretty. And there will be more nights? Oh, so many more. And days, Albert. I will meet you for lunch tomorrow. For lunch. For lunch. Don't you want me to? Yes, of course, of course. What's that? It's an alarm clock. It's probably one of your neighbors getting up. <laughs> uh, at 6.30. Where shall we meet? For lunch. For what? For lunch. What do I have to do for lunch? Whom do I have to have lunch with? Uh, you know it. Who is it, Paul? The, uh, the American ambassador. Yes, of course. How charming. I would love to meet him, dear. Well, I'll see what I can do about this, because he, he's a very busy man. <laughs> well, then we'll meet afterwards, about three, and take a drive. Three? Oh, I wish I could. Well, darling. what do you have to do then? Oh, at three o'clock, you have a very important engagement. Uh, uh, what's his name, Paul? The Spanish ambassador. Yes, of course. Well, my dear. <laughs> you see, I'm in constant touch with diplomats. I'm not one myself, but I always keep in touch with them, that's all. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. So am I, dear. Well, then I probably can't meet you until tea time. Tea time? Fine. Around seven. No, Albert, around five. Oh. Now, don't tell me you have to meet any ambassadors around five. No, of course, of course. But, but I have to meet somebody at five. I have to meet somebody. Oh, my, my memory is getting terrible. Who is it, Paul? I don't know. Oh, oh well. 
<laughs> don't go away angry, darling. I know, but... Darling... If you don't want me, why don't you say so? Oh, but aren't we going to have a nice dinner together? At your apartment? Yes. Where do you live? I, I, I live... Uh... Well, dear, will you have to ask all that? <laughs> no, 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 but I've just moved, you see. And with my memory, you don't expect me to remember that, eh? <laughs> no, dear, I don't. But it's probably the new apartment the Chinese ambassador just moved out of. No. No. He just moved in. <laughs> you see, we are great friends. We, we live together. <laughs> Good night, darling. I'll phone you. Uh, but Albert... Oh, uh, shut up. You're a great help with your ambassador. Oh, don't be cross. I, I did my best. It's all right. Don't worry. But we've got to find an apartment immediately. Yes, we must. Oh, for it has been a beautiful night, eh? And look at that beautiful dawn. How still it is. Paris has crept into bed. And he's asleep. At last. Oh, come on. It, it's time to go to work. Oh. oh. The sunshine I feel. If you let him leave you, his room will not you cold. Get in, never let him use the well known triangle hole. It's a great night if you don't. We can use a great gun if you want. We can if you do. Oh, what hey, the hell? It's been a great night. I told you on Monday, you could have one drawer for your shirt. On Tuesday, they're in the flower box. On Wednesday, I nearly poured soup in your silk hat. On Friday, there isn't enough room left for a spoon. All right, all right. Keep your shirt on. Ow. Ow. Say, what do you birds think you're doing? Oh, to be a bird. We've just a nest. You take Mr. Philibert's breakfast to him. Yes. No. It can be done. Good morning, sir. Your breakfast, sir. Where's Albert? Very busy. Good morning! Oh, what a terrible sight you are to my eyes. Oh, but I have good news. Ah, bah, bah, bah. I really have. Ivan, I have great news. Oh, really? Yes, really, really. We are going to get that money from Albert. Oh. Is he going to break the contract? He's sure to. He's living up in Set Hill. Work all day, play all night. Ha! In another week he'll be a nervous wreck. Where did you see him? Last night at the nightclub. He was having supper with one of the most beautiful women in Paris. Oh, I give him credit for that, all right. Lots of men would like to have that woman. And she belongs to him, all right. Well, my dear fellow, let us hope that she will weaken him. It's a great life if you don't weaken. You're a great guy if you won't weaken. If you don't lose half, the hey, hardest hey, part hey. is the first hundred years. There's a lot of guests in there for breakfast this morning, and you better get busy, Albert, or you'll break your contract. I've got to get busy, all right. I've got to think of some scheme that will get me out of here. And I can't get out soon enough. I'm always in danger that she'll find out that I'm a waiter, and then I'll lose her. Sure. <laughs> It's a great life if you don't. Oh, Paul. Paul. I've got an idea. All I have to do is to make them fire me. Why, of course, if they fire me, I don't have to pay. Oh, oh, oh you just watch me. Oh, oh. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> and good morning. Never mind the good mornings. I'm not here to talk. I'm here to eat. Yes, sir. I'll be right with you. Yeah. 
Well, what's he doing now? Why doesn't he come here? Waiter, waiter! Albert, what are you doing? Don't you realize this is breakfast? Oh, yes, yes, how stupid of me. Uh, what would I have for breakfast? Uh, you bring me radishes, ham and grapes. Waiter! Oh, waiter! Oh, oh, I understand your little game now, Albert, but it won't work. So you refuse to wait on these people. Well, that means that you've broken the contract. So sit still and play your cards and I will wait on them. No, 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 I will wait on them. I will do it. I bet you will, I bet you will. Waiter, waiter! Coming, sir, coming. What's the matter with you? When I call waiter, I want action. I'm sorry, sir. I am Oh, what will you have, sir? Well, let's see. Uh, how about a watermelon to start with? Yes, sir. We have no watermelons today. What did you say? I said, sir, that we have nothing but bananas. And when I think of it, uh, yes, sir, we have no bananas today. <laughs> Why, what are you talking about? You think this says watermelon on the menu here? So it is. Oh, my mistake, sir. My mistake. Raspberries for two. <laughs> That's enough. We will go somewhere where we can have breakfast. Well, do we get any service here? What is this? A lot of way, sir. What will you have? I want a cognac and a large coffee. Immediately. Yes, sir. <laughs> Look what you're doing, you fool! Proprietor! Proprietor! What is it? What well, is it? look for yourself! But Albert, you're using the wrong glasses! No, no, but I'm doing you a great favor, sir. A favor? What are you talking about? Yes, I'm giving you a large cognac because it's half water, you see? And I'm giving you a small coffee because this morning the coffee has been made out of tobacco juice. I've heard enough! Oh, but Mr. Duffy, Mr. Duffy, not another word! And I apologize to your waiter. If it wasn't for his honesty, I would have been beaten. And I'll spread the news that the little cafe is a dirty duck. Oh! Oh! Take your apron off at once! You're fired! Great! Hooray! No, 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 I didn't fire you! Oh, very well, then I will continue with my duty. Oh, Albert, I want to see you as you should be. Oh, but don't worry, you see nothing yet. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I will recommend these nice hors d'oeuvres. They are delicious. Who will have some? Yeah. Here I come, everybody. Yes, Miss Yvonne. I understand he goes to a nightclub every night with a woman. 
Yes, Mr. Sheehan. And do you think he'll be there tonight? Yes, I'm sure he will. He loves it there. Well, he won't love it tonight, Paul. I'm going to tell her he's a waiter. Yes. Yes, I knew you'd tell her just as soon as you found it out. How did you know it? Because I knew you'd be so jealous. Jealous? Of course. What am I jealous about? Because you love him. Love him? Of course. Love him? And all I've ever done is to fight him. Of course. Because you love him. But when he sees you dressed up like that, I'm, I think he'll realize the only reason he ever fought with you was because he loves you. Ain't love funny? Good 
idea. Albert? Where is, Where is he? he? Over there. Go right over and tell him. I don't feel like it now. Hmm? I do. My revenge is here. I'll forgive you this time, darling. Just chill out. I'm all right, dear. I feel much better now. Good evening, Albert. <laughs> Why, my old friend, Mr. Fever. Yes, your old friend, Mr. Philip. <laughs> well, how, how is everything? Everything is going to be all right, I think, for me. What do you think? Hmm? Uh, <laughs> oh, but you haven't introduced me to your friend. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Miss Derger, I wanted to meet my old friend, Mr. Philip. How do you do? Oh, so pleased to meet you. I'll be right back, darling. Oh. No, I have a very scientific matter to explain to this man. I'll be right back. <laughs> he has a very scientific matter to explain. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one. <laughs> Mr. Filber, first of all, I want to ask you a question. Yes, Albert? What is it you want to know? I want to ask you if you ever got a punch right on the nose. Hmm? Now, the scientific difference between a punch landing on half of the nose or on the whole of the nose is amazing. You see, a blow, a blow landing on the side of the nose often pushes the nose over to the other side of the face. But a blow landing right on the nose leaves nothing of the nose at all. But that is not all. Along with the disappearance of the nose, there is a sensation absolutely unique. And it can only be felt to be realized. You see? So now if you will excuse me, I'll hurry back because this lady thinks that I am a gentleman. Did you meet me, darling? What is he doing? What are you going to sing? A beautiful song called Poco in Springtime. Oh, that sounds terrible. Can't you sing something else? Say, don't you tell me what to sing. I've been singing cuckoo for 25 years. I'm too old a bird to have you tell me where to get off. Well, go ahead and get it over with. All right, but get that face of yours out of my sight and I'll start. Come on, now, everybody ready. I'm sorry I've been such a bore, darling. But now I'm going to be different. We'll talk of nothing but gaiety. We'll stay here all night. All night long. <laughs> That voice drives me crazy. You go first. Albert, you must calm yourself. Waiter. Yes, madam. What no, is... no, dear. I was calling the waiter. Oh, yes. Yes, madam. Go and tell that singer to stop singing. There's a very important man here, and his singing makes him extremely nervous. Yes, Albert, dear, sit down. Okay. Sit down. That Albert, voice. What is the matter? That voice. Don't you realize, darling, that you're not careful that, that, that voice. nervous. It is just an Albert here. Please. Oh, that sit voice. Down, darling. Oh. Wait a minute. Say, just who is this important man I'm making nervous? Show him to me. Albert! Excuse me, darling. I forgot to wash my hands. What is like that? Albert! Albert! What are you doing here? <laughs> uh, I, I'm working, of course. Oh, what a lovely coincidence. I'm a singer here, and you're a waiter here. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that lovely? <laughs> but, Albert, there are too many pretty women here to suit me. I warn you, don't you let me catch you flirting. Oh, you won't. You won't. <laughs> if I can help it. Albert seems very nervous tonight. Oh, he's terribly nervous. And I'm tired of sitting alone. May I join you now? Oh, please. please. Won't you? And there'll be room for Albert, too. Uh, waiter. They're calling you. No, no. That is not my table. Oh. <laughs> Albert! Come on! Who is that woman calling you so familiarly? Uh, I don't know. Just a woman. Who? Man. Did, did, you, did you call me? Yeah? You said enough to that poor singer. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Sit down. No, I think I, I had better go and apologize. No, no, don't bother. Sit down. Sit down. Don't pull me down. Perhaps she doesn't like the present custody. Oh, that's absurd. <laughs> I think you're all very charming. Then why don't you sit down? 
I'm, I'm going to sit down. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to sit down. I'll be right back. Were you going to sit down with those guests? Don't be absurd. I heard that woman tell you to sit down. No, you know, you know, they'll be drunk, you see? And the thing is very cute for a waiter to sit down. <laughs> I forbid you to sit down. Did I forbid you to stand around like this? Now go ahead and sing. Yes, she has a beautiful voice. Oh, I beg pardon. I didn't notice that you were talking to her. Why is that manager so polite to you? I, I saved his life tonight. You, you almost stand on a stove. Albert! There's that woman calling you again. I will have to go, and you'd better go and sing. That is <laughs> well, what will you have now? What? what? Albert, I'll give you one more chance. If you don't sit down, I'll get up, and you'll never see me again. Did, did, you, try, did you try the brandy here? It's one of the best. All right. One more chance. <laughs> it's a good evening, eh? <laughs> Oh, I've got a cramp in my leg. Oh, darling, I you're so terribly nervous tonight, dear. Please. Take your hands off of his head. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. I'm telling you to take your hands off that waiter. Waiter? Yes, waiter. Albert, what's she talking about? Stand up. No, I'd rather sit down. But Albert, she calls you a waiter. She's crazy with the heat. You're crazy with the heat. Crazy with the heat, eh? I'll show you. Where's the manager? Well, she's a millionaire, it's Albert Lewisloff. He's the most famous man about town. She's mistaken him for somebody else. Well, of course she has, I ought to know. Why, everybody knows Albert Lewisloff. He's, he's one of the most famous, famous men in Paris. Paris. This girl knows all about him. Tell that blonde thing she's making love to a waiter. I wouldn't tell that blonde thing anything. What do I care what she does? How dare you call me a blonde thing? I'll call you worse than that. She's bad enough, but you're, you're really right. What? This thing works for a living, but you, you'll take every cent he has, and then do you know what you'll do? You'll kick him out in the street and forget he was ever alive. Albert, do you hear what she's saying? Get up and throw her out. Come on. Sir, sir, leave her alone. What? He was getting out of here. I don't you. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. I don't mean to. Good morning, sir. Uh, good morning. I'm in a hurry, sir. Just a moment. Uh, thank you, sir. Albert. Albert. Wake up. Oh, go away. Wake up, Albert. Hey, hey, leave that girl alone. Drunk again. The, the, the door. Yes, sir. Oh, but you got to get up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You haven't a minute to lose. Do you know what time it is? No. no. Why didn't the clock ring? Where is it? Oh, I don't see it. Oh, somebody has stolen it. It's another plot against me. Come in. What have you got? Two gentlemen are calling, sir. Oh, it's probably the police. Mr. Henri Plouvier, General de Carodet. What shall I tell the gentlemen, sir? Tell them I've gone out of town. Mr. Lorapin! Mr. Lorapin! Mr. Lorapin! I want you to meet General de Carodet. My dear sir. Very good, sir. We are here on a very solemn mission. The general will explain. Mr. Lorapin! Oh, would you like a chair, General? Please. Mr. Lorapin. I have come here with Mr. Plouvier on behalf of our friend, Mr. Gastonet. Last night, or this morning to be exact, you grossly insulted Mr. Gastonet. And as one gentleman to another, he expects satisfaction. Oh, dear. Uh, uh, a duel, General? A duel. You, you don't mean, you don't mean with sword? No, I do not. Oh, good. I mean with guns. Oh. The place selected for this duel is Versailles. The time, six o'clock tomorrow morning. We will dispense with the meeting of the seconds until we meet at the field. Mr. Fugier and myself will second Mr. Gastonet, and we hope that the seconds you choose will be equally distinguished. We bid you good morning, sir, and await your pleasure. They await our pleasure.
Oh, Paul, Paul, what am I going to do? I never fired a pistol in my life. Neither have I. We couldn't hit them between us. And second, where shall I find any second? I'll be one of your seconds, Albert. That ought to help. Oh, Albert. Did you think of a way I could get out of it? No, I thought of a second second. Aren't you thoughtful? Pierre, the cook, will be your seconds, Albert. A couple of hot seconds. We ought to do well. But Pierre is an old soldier. He'll teach you how to shoot. But what are you so enthusiastic about? Where do you think I'm going tomorrow? Me and my second. Well, speak in a second, you better hurry. You'll, you'll be late to the little cafe. You're right. Don't let me be late. It looks like my last day. My last day. One, two, three. Now watch me, Albert. And remember, the most important thing in a duel is not to shoot first, but to aim straight. Now see how slow I aim the gun before I fire. Bang. Now, see? Pierre, Pierre, why do you keep aiming at me? The, the duel's over. What's the difference? It ain't loaded. Oh, all, all right, good. If he shoots first, what's the use of me shooting at all? Listen, Dumbbell, he's a banker. You're a waiter. Is that right? That's right. All right. Now that means that at best you're both a couple of rotten shots. Speed ain't going to mean a thing. It's the guy that takes the longest time to aim the gun going to bring home the bacon. Oh, yes. Yes, I see what you mean. All right. Now let me see you do it, Albert. And don't let me see you do it one second faster than I did. Take your places. What are you doing? Good morning. Albert, what are you doing with that gun? I'm going to find a duel tomorrow morning. A duel? Tomorrow morning. That's funny. What's funny about it? Because it's a good joke. But it's time to stop fooling and get to work. I'll get to work after I've done any of the practicing. As a waiter, you need plenty of practice. Suppose you start on these tablecloths. I don't believe you. Places. Oh, Albert. Are you ready? Well, stop shoving me. Huh? Ready. Uh, I can hardly wait. One, two, three. Take your time. I'd like to take a shot at something right now. Stop talking and take your time. And I could hit anything. Only one hand on it. I'd have to be in his shoes tomorrow. Aim and take your time. Oh, oh. Just watch me. Fire. Bang. Hey. I guess it was loaded. And look where I hit. I missed him by a mile. Well, we're here first anyway. Hmm? And something tells me we're going to leave last. Don't worry, Albert. Nothing can go wrong if you take your time. <clears throat> He's having a good time, eh? Yes, I see. I see. What do you see? I don't see anything. This will probably be the spot. Don't you think that I'm right, Paul? Ah, uh, I didn't hear what you said. <laughs> I said this would be the spot. No, no, I won't do it here. What's the matter with it? I don't like the looks of it. Why not? It's the most level patch of ground around here. That's the trouble with it. It's too level. It would be much better if it was more uh, hilly. I suppose, Albert, you would rather fight behind a tree. I will if he will.
Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Good morning, gentlemen. Good morning, gentlemen. Hello. Where is your other second? Right over there. Oh, good morning. Mr. Orofan, kindly introduce me to your seconds. General de Kerodeg, this is Mr. Pierre Bourdin. How do you do, sir? How do you do, sir? General de Kerodeg, this is Mr. Paul Michel. How do you do, sir? I'm glad to meet you, General. Gentlemen, I want you to meet Mr. Lubier and Mr. Gastonet. Gentlemen. 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 Mr. Lorafan. I want you to meet Dr. Lachumé. Uh, greetings, Mr. Lorafan. Oh, doctor. Uh, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Uh, gentlemen. 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 What do we do next? Take your time, Albert. That's all you've got to do. Take your time. Uh, Mr. Bordon. Coming, General. <coughs> I'm going. No, no, Albert. It won't do any good now. It, it's too late. I could run faster than anybody on this field. Uh, they might shoot you in the back. Albert. Albert. I just learned from the General that the banker is not the man that I thought he was. You mean to say that he's afraid? Afraid? I should say not. Before he settled down in the banking business, he was an officer in the 22nd Hussars. And this will make his sixth duel. Oh! Therefore, you must forget everything that I told you yesterday. Your only chance is to shoot first. You cannot afford to lose a second. Hold me up. <laughs> Mr. Bordon! Uh, right away, General. Remember, Albert, your only chance is speed. My only chance is gone. My only chance is to, is to face it bravely, that's all. What's this, Doctor? Uh, bandages, Mr. Loison. Oh. And what, what's this, Doctor? A uh, forceps. What are forceps for? A uh, forceps are what we probe for the bullet with, sir. Oh, yes, of course, of course. <laughs> and here we have the uh, ether. Stretchers. In fact, everything we need for the wounded man. <laughs> That's nice, eh? Mr. Lorifan, everything is ready. Your chief second has your pistol. He will give you your final instructions. Oh, one thing more, Mr. Lorifan. Yeah. The name and address of your nearest relative. Albert! 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 Who is this girl? Yvonne! Yes, Yvonne! You didn't expect me, did you? What are you talking about? Who are you? How dare you come in and interrupt these gentlemen? Oh, gentlemen! These gentlemen! You say, well, that's just the reason I'm here. You see this gentleman here? Oh, he'd have you all believe he's a gentleman, but he isn't. He's just a waiter. A waiter? What is she talking about? I'm talking about this waiter. My father's the proprietor of the little cafe, and Albert is our waiter. Is that the truth? Well, what of it? What of it? He admits it! He, he admits, admits it! it. What of it? Why, you miserable masquerading worm! You ought to be strung up to the nearest tree! How dare you come here and associate yourself with gentlemen! How dare you! General, this is unbelievable! I never showed this scratchy in my life! Oh, poor Albert! He did so want to be a gentleman! Get out of here! Get out of my sight! You mean to say that the duel is off? Of course it's off! You think I would fight with the waiter? But I'm not a waiter. I reason from the little cafe. And now let me tell you what I think of you. You're facing a man again. And take that. Oh, I have a kill you. Come on, get your gun. Race it. Albert, you don't understand. Ready. Go. Albert. Albert. Albert, Albert. I don't care. Let me go. Albert. <sighs> Yvonne. Yvonne, doctor, quick, help, help! Yvonne, oh, Paul, for she loves me. She loves me, because you see, she loves me. <laughs> Yvonne, doctor, come on, quick, quick, quick. Well, yes, hey, hey, you! But, Albert, hadn't we better ask them first? Oh, <laughs> they don't matter. They're gentlemen. Hey, stop that! You'll pay for this! Sure I will. How much do you want, General? 400,000? <laughs> Thank you.
Margot, you do love me, eh? I don't love you. You do love I me. I don't. But if you don't love me, what did you faint? I didn't faint. No, no, you didn't faint, no. You just went to sleep, eh? I, I just... You <laughs> just, just, just a minute. Just, just. I've always been crazy about you. How dumb you were not to know it. Oh, Yvonne, Yvonne, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. But don't call me dumb. Cuckoo, cuckoo. I wish I was a cuckoo. 